Come on, people of God, I want to share this word with you. I want to tell you that your greatest opportunity of manifestation of the things that God placed within you, the reason why God made you, this opportunity is shown forth in diverse challenges of your life. What I observe in my time in the Christian world and just seeing the church world, many of us, we have been taught in condition when we go through certain challenges or problems, we just want instant solutions. Not every problem, there's an instant solution. This is what God is trying to teach you because every challenge in your life is actually a test. God is looking to see how you respond. And many of us, we've been trained and conditioned to respond that we just either get angry, we get frustrated, or we seek to rely on help. There's nothing wrong with having assistance in your life, but we are not meant to rely on help because when you rely on something, it's actually hindering the growth that God is trying to do through you because God wants to, he wants you to understand about what he has put within you, the treasures within you. That's why the Bible says there are treasures in earthen vessels. When you rely on help, you are actually uh, putting a... Uh, a blockage or something covering your eyes to see what's within you of what God placed in you. So what I want to tell you is that I want to encourage you to embrace your challenges. The apostles, they embraced the diverse temptations and challenges in their life because that was an opportunity for them to show how much they know God. It was an opportunity for them to express God when things don't look easy, when things looking tight, when things are looking tough. That is the time where you show forth the strength in you. And that's what I want to tell you. You are strong, you are mighty in God, and your might and your strength and your faith is shown in your challenges. Your challenges also is trying to see, God is looking to see the state of your consciousness and your heart. And in the midst of your challenges, which is a test, this is your opportunity to grow in consciousness because God wants us to think the way he thinks because God in his grand scheme plan is an eternal plan because we know this world needs to be redeemed from much corruption. Jesus redeemed us, but the, the nature, the animals, the plants and so many systems of this world is still corruption. This is what God wants to do through his children to redeem the worlds and the ages to come to show forth his children, which is in your Bible. But for God to do this work through his children, he takes them through a training. He takes them through a training. This is the reason why God placed us here on earth. And we go through the most toughest challenges because God is training us for a great work. I want you to view your challenges in God's grand scheme that you are being prepared. You are being trained to be a ruler. You are a ruler and a priest, as the Bible says in Revelation 1. But for one to be a ruler and priest, that's a level of knowledge and wisdom they carry. And also a level of love they walk in because we know that God is love. So in the midst of your challenges, these are the things that God is trying to teach you. Don't get upset. Don't get angry because I've been there. When you just get go through challenges, you get angry, you get upset. God don't want us to view life like that. God wants us to sit back and observe. How, how can I learn from this challenges? What God wants... What is he trying to teach me? And what is the things that God want me to manifest in this time and this age for his glory? You are here to express his name. You are here to express who God is. And we do this in power. We do this in love. And we do this in compassion. This is what you saw in the life of Jesus. Jesus went through so many challenges. But he, he looked at his challenges as an opportunity to grow and to manifest the glory of God. You are here to manifest the glory of God. There's so much to your life. There's so much that God placed in you. Your challenges is actually a revelation of the weight of glory within you. Use that in love. Use that in compassion. Don't be defeated. God is with you. And also I want to let you know, you are mighty in Christ Jesus. Embrace your challenges. God bless you and shalom.